So working with precision when adding and subtracting, what we're going to do is all the numbers that you're using for addition and subtraction, when you get your calculation in the end, when you have this value that you want to round, you use the least precision of the original numbers. So keep in mind when we say precision, that's really relating to place value, but it's this mixture of significant figures and place value. So what this is gonna look like, for this first example here, in terms of precision, if I compare the precision of these three numbers, we have precision to the tenths place, tenths, and then let's see, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So thousandths, sorry, it's very hard to say that, is the most precise of these. That has a lot of accuracy because they included values way out far in the decimal places. The least precise is actually both of these numbers here where we only have accuracy to one decimal place. So what that tells me is that when I round my final answer, I want to round to the tenths place. Now, in terms of the number here, we're just gonna use a calculator. So. I'm going to open up my calculator and then just do 12.1 plus 5.2 plus 8.694 and get a value out which is 25.994 and let me just go ahead and write down that whole number there 25.994 okay so i want to round to the tenths place so i want to round there so there's my rounding digit my testing digit, this is actually going to link to what we talked about in the previous video. Because what we have here is on the decimal side of things, we're rounding a nine up to a 10. So we're rounding up. So what we're gonna have is this is going to round up to a 26, but we get some extra precision here. So what we have is 26 is coming through as just two significant figures, but we actually have even more significant figures because of this case here of rounding with precision on the decimal side of things. And when we round up, we want to include the zero from the decimal side. So what I'm gonna do is this to show that actually with how we're rounding and using precision, we have 26.0, which in the end is three significant figures. All right, this next one. So let's see, we have the tenths place, ones, and tenths. So the least precise of these is the one with no decimal places at all. So I want to round to the ones place when we get our calculation out. So we'll go to our calculator and we're doing 56.9 minus 4 minus 2.3 and I'm just going to write that whole number down to the 50.6 entire number and we want to round to the ones place so there's our rounding digit so to test we're going to look at 6 which is large so that's going to tell me to round up so this is going to be a 51 and no decimal or zero following after in terms of precision, this is exactly right. All right, this one here. So to compare, we have hundredths, thousandths, hundredths. So in terms of least precise, we're seeing rounding to the hundredths place. So with that, we'll go to our calculator. 14.59 plus 8.234 minus 5.24, so 17.584. And then I want to round to the hundredths place, so my rounding digit's right there. The 4 is telling me to round down, so we're going to keep that 8 as it is, so just 17.5. Eight. All right, our last one here, let's see, we have hundredths and hundredths. So that means our least precise is hundredths. So go to the calculator, 
you can get 48.52 plus 6.89, which is 55.41 exactly. And since that comes out exactly to the hundredths place, we don't have any rounding to do. That would just be our solution. So with these, just be careful of those cases where um, you're rounding with nines and get rounding up nine specifically and making sure you're keeping in mind the idea of precision for if you're on the decimal side of things, adding in a zero where you had the nine round up. Or if it's on the whole number side of things, that's where we had the over bar over the zero that that nine turned into. Really, it's tracking that red nine there when nine is the rounding digit. On the decimal side, it just turns into a zero on the decimal side. On the whole number side, it turns into a zero with an over bar on it.